In this video, we're introducing our product family, the Fidget Spatials, which incorporate accelerometers, gyroscopes, magnetometers, and sensor fusion. The Fidget Spatials range from accelerometer-only devices to our top-of-the-line model. This allows cost and feature optimization during your development. By integrating the different sensors into a single unit, timing can be more accurately controlled. Sensor fusion is performed right on the device, if equipped, and each sensor is calibrated at the factory. We'll demonstrate the features using our top-of-the-line model, the MOT-0110 Fidget Spatial. This device integrates an accelerometer, a gyroscope, a compass, and provides sensor fusion data. We've installed the Fidget's control panel on our Windows computer. This is the best method of familiarizing yourself with Fidget functionality. Let's begin with the accelerometer. We'll demonstrate acceleration on the vertical axis, Z. It's the same for the other two axes. These are three axis sensors. This fidget measures acceleration as we experience it. We feel the pull of gravity as an acceleration. This is 1G. When we roll the sensor upside down, the sensor reports negative 1G. If we roll the sensor sideways, the z-axis doesn't report any acceleration since the force of gravity is now being measured by the x-axis. Accelerated motion, vibration, is also measured and is easy to see by shaking the sensor. To demonstrate vibration, which is an acceleration, we're going to play a 250 hertz tone to encourage our desk to oscillate slightly. We're going to increase our sensitivity to high frequency vibrations by going to 1000 samples per second. We can see there's something going on on the graph, but if we change over to the frequency view of the data, there's our 250 hertz tone. And here we are back in the noise. Next, let's see the gyroscope in action. The gyroscope measures many small rotations. We sum these up to see a position. You can see the rotation in Z. And of course, X and Y are symmetrical. Finally, let's review the magnetometer. The local magnetic field is measured in all three axes. The visualization below is showing us these three axes. The X and Y axis are displayed as the black line. You can easily imagine how these two axes would be used in a simple compassing application. Similar to how an accelerometer measures acceleration from motion and gravity together, a magnetometer measures the Earth's magnetic field and all local fields added together. Magnetometers are calibrated after they're installed in their application. We have a calibration utility that will help correct for any local magnetic interference. Since I'm doing a three-dimensional calibration here, I'm swinging the sensor to sweep out all the range of possible motions. And calibration is complete. The accelerometer data on its own has some uses, but the magnetometer and gyroscope raw data is almost never used directly. Using our built-in sensor fusion algorithm is generally preferred. Since this algorithm calculates attitude, pitch roll, and heading, yaw, it's called an attitude heading reference system, AHRS. I'll point the device away from me and click on align model. We're running, we have pitch, roll, and heading data coming in. The model has no problem figuring out simple motions. More complex motions with multiple axes at once are also no challenge. And accelerated motion doesn't change the orientation and is filtered out. If you can't use the magnetometer in your application, there is a mode called IMU, which uses only the inertial sensors, the gyroscope and the accelerometer. This mode is identical, 
except the heading is not aligned with magnetic north. This was a demonstration of the common features of a fidget spatial. The spatial used in this video has additional features not highlighted here. Check out the product video for the MOT0110. If you want to learn more, we have more content that focuses on specific applications. Lots of detail to give your project every chance of success.